Hey everyone. Recently, I've seen a few questions crop up about how to do the fog of war on the index card virtual tabletop. Now the IC VTT isn't as complex or as robust as say Albert Rodeo and Roll20. So there isn't an included fog of war kind of feature, but that doesn't mean you still can achieve the effect by using a few simple techniques. To help me show that, I've enlisted the help of Glocka, the lead developer for the ICVTT, to demonstrate some of those. But the first one that I'm going to demonstrate is probably my favorite and the ones that I go to first, and that's by using tokens, since ICVTT is so just token based. So I've got this map set up. I've built it out in advance before my players arrive. I have them set up with the monsters and the props as I need. And now I want to hide things um, before the session begins. So when they arrive and I open up the scene, they don't see everything that I've prepared. Now using tokens, what I do is I grab some fog tokens. And now fog tokens can be pretty much anything, but I like to use these kind of blobby, you know, black clouds uh, that I made. And I'll have links to these in the description for the video so you can grab them yourself. But what I do is you just grab these tokens and now you can take them and readjust and start hiding things by you know, increasing the size, moving them into position, and then pushing them to the top. So now they cover the map and all the tokens and then you can lock them in place to ensure that you don't move them. So I can just go along and do this for my entire map I'll push this to the top, increase the size a little bit. When you're increasing the size and things, you cover more space um, and you can use less tokens. But if you have smaller tokens, you can be more granular. The one caveat is that if you have a ton of these tokens, it can slow down the VTT. So it's just a balancing act of what works and what you need to hide. But feel free to play around with that. So now I can lock this one in place. And I've got a square, I've got a circle and a rectangle. They're a token plus a blob just to cover those weird spaces and so as I go I'm just increasing the size building them up and pushing them around until I'm comfortable with what I've hidden from my players so I'll push this to the top and then go from there lock and say I want to you know hide a little bit more I'll Copy this one down, this rectangular space. Rotate it just a little bit and maybe push it over there. And I can see I forgot to put this token under, so I'll just unlock that circle, push to the top, and then lock it again. So now I've got my general fog of war, and what I can do is as players move about the scene and as they approach kind of that hidden area, I'll just click on the token itself, unlock it, and then either move it, if I want to be a little, you know, show off a little less, or I'll just delete it completely. And now they've opened up that entire scene for view, and we can address anything that's happened. So now they have to face these worms before they move on to the next area. And I would just repeat this as players move, find the, the next area, unlock it delete and there they go now i'm going to pass this over to glocka so he can demonstrate his method which is using the webcam feature hey it's glocka i'd like to add another option to the portfolio of how to use fog of war in icvtt when you use physical terrain in your online game icvtt provides you with a little feature called webcam snapshot basically it allows you to take a photo of your webcam and use it as a scene background the feature can be accessed as a GM using the scenes draw in your game. Click the webcam icon which says preview webcam. Your browser will most likely ask you to confirm the webcam choice. If you're using multiple webcams, here's the place to select the right one. You will see a live feed from your camera. Optionally, you can click to enlarge. That's useful for manual adjusting focus and angle. Set up your terrain and click Take Snapshot. After that you'll see the snapshot preview before uploading it. The scene's background is automatically replaced. Now you've got your terrain all in place, but how does the fog of war actually come into play? 
imagine that scene to be in a dark cave where player characters can only see the near area. As they move around, more terrain pieces should be revealed and maybe some pieces should disappear. You can adjust your terrain by hand and take another snapshot. Here we can see the heroes delve deeper into the cave and more terrain pieces appear. Make sure your camera angle stays the same. Personally I use two webcams for online play to avoid switching around since there's some technical limitations and issues involved when you're running that same webcam through something else like, let's say, Discord. And at some point the heroes have probably delved so deep into the dungeon that they cannot see the entrance anymore. Just grab the entrance, take it away, take a new snapshot and you're done. That's it, basically. So Kane, I think you've got a third option, right? Excellent. Thanks, Glocka. And you're right, I do have a third option for you. And this is probably one that I would use if I were trying to do something a little bit more complex. Um, it does take a little bit more time than using tokens, but it's the idea of using your screen share feature within the ICVTT. And so again, I have this map that I've set up. I have my players already uh, in play and position for where they start. And I have this map opened in another program in Affinity Photo. You can also use Photoshop or GIMP. And what I can do is come over here into the GM drawer and select this preview screen share. And what it's gonna do is give me some options of screens that I want to show. And I'm just gonna go over to my photo editor, Affinity Photo, click share. And now it's opened up Affinity Photo. And what I can do is just kind of fill in the scene with kind of black ink or whatever color ink to kind of cover up the space that I want. And then what I want to do is once everything's covered in my fog of war, I'm going to switch over to an eraser and I'm just going to erase the portions that I want to show. So I'll erase this first room to give them a sense of here's some doors that they could go into and go from there. If there is something that I did too much of, I didn't want to show that because the door was was closed. So I would just switch back to my brush and color that back in. And then once I'm happy with my kind of view and the fog of war that I have, I'll just switch back over to the VTT. And you can see that they have this live stream preview as well as the snapshot. So I can take this snapshot and it'll give me a picture of that screen and I'll be able to apply it to the background. Just like with the webcam method, this kind of gives me an opportunity to replace the current background with a new background, and then I have my fog of war. So now my players can move around and explore, and eventually they might open up into a new space. So again, I'm gonna go back to my screen share. I'm gonna select my photo editor, and I will just erase a little bit more of what they see. So they'll be able to kind of see down to here, get a view, and maybe they'll be able to come up to here and they'll see the rest of this room. I go back to the VTT, take another snapshot, and then apply the background. Now this allows you to be a really granular and really kind of have that more complex uh, approach to the VTT um, fog of war. But the only problem with this technique versus the token technique is that because this fog of war is placed on the background, you can't actually hide any tokens underneath it in advance. So what you have to do is as you're revealing the scene, um, be prepared with your file folders to then pull out, you know, say, enemies that they would have to face and build it after the reveal, or say they walk into a trap. Um, and then you just place that card or that token or whatever you have to represent the trap there on top as they they move in after you've revealed it. But again, this screen share option lets you be more granular, build the fog of war on the fly using your favorite photo editor like Affinity Photo or Photoshop. For those three techniques, you have a lot of options and a lot of different ways that you could build the fog of war. And so using simple methods you can achieve advanced techniques that other VTTs have and that might be useful in your games.
but let us know what other techniques you've used for VTTs. How have you built out the fog of war in IC VTT or um, hidden things from your scene? I've seen players use fog tokens on like actual clouds. I've used uh, smoke tokens, just different areas covering them with cracks or rocks or whatever. But let us know in the comments. And if you haven't had a chance to check out the index card VTT, definitely check it out at icvtt.net. It's totally free, open for everybody, and it's a great tool to have um, if you're playing online.